as far back as I can remember, yes, I wanted to be a doctor. No, nobody in my family is a physician. I really didn't know many physicians growing up other than my own family physician, but I just had that inkling that I wanted to do. I wanted to be a physician. I was always drawn to uh, musculoskeletal medicine orthopedics, and through uh, residency, um, I was always just drawn to uh, getting people back into uh, what they like to do. And so you know, that led me to a sports medicine fellowship and then led me here to Middletown. What I do is I see patients with uh, orthopedic problems ranging from arthritis to injuries to sports injuries. And I'm one of the non-surgical uh, physicians here. I will uh, diagnose, treat, and work the patients up until uh, they're back to their job or their sport or the activities that they want to do. I was an athlete in high school, uh, played football for nine years, uh, and then recreational athlete in college. When I see an athlete with injuries, um, I can relate because I had every single injury known to man <laughs> playing football. And so, you know, certainly I can think back to the time when I had all the injuries, how I wanted to get back, but also now, uh, you know, as hopefully mature that I know you know, it, when it's safe to get somebody back and not push them back too, too soon so they can actually finish out their career safely. What I do for everyone that comes in, the most important uh, aspect that I provide is history and physical. And so getting the history from the patient a lot of times will clue me into probably 75, 85 percent of the time on what uh, the problem is and how to go about fixing it. Then the physical exam will help uh, either confirm or you know, take a little bit different path on what uh, I think the diagnosis and treatment will be. And then depending on my physical exam findings and the history will lead to more potentially more diagnostic tests such as x-ray which we do here in the office which is very important um, and then potentially MRIs or CAT scans to further delineate all right, what that next step is in treatment. And then once we figure out all right, this is what needs to be done then we go ahead and you know, start the treatment process and getting folks back. Having the facilities on site such as x-ray and MRI, we can more quickly facilitate uh, the treatment and have the answers uh, more quickly than saying having to send someone else uh, outside the system uh, where we have to wait on the reports, whereas now we can have the answer you know, later on that day, the next day for sure. And, know our next steps without having the patient have to wait and be concerned and you know wondering oh wow where where is my wonder what my test results were so it's much more convenient for the patient having everything on site i think one of the drivers for me that attracted me to this practice was the fact that uh, i'm valued as a non-surgical uh, orthopedic specialist but then when i do need uh, the surgeons they're right there. I can take the case right next door and it gets done. And I don't have to worry about, oh, who am I gonna get this person to? I have plenty of excellent partners that uh, are completely capable of taking care of the surgical needs of my patients. For the community, uh, Premier Orthopedics uh, were involved in quite a bit of community activities, including being team physicians for many surrounding uh, communities. And uh, this involves uh, covering Friday night football to being uh, there for the athletic trainers that have questions regarding uh, the students that they take care of in the community as well as their uh, parents. And so we're quite active in you know, volunteering our time to do sports physicals and covering athletic events so there's coverage. So we've been quite active in that for quite some time. Well, as physicians, being involved in the community, that's part of the job. That's what we signed up to do. And, you know, as a physician, you are you become a physician to help people. And so it just doesn't end in the office or at the hospital. It continues uh, throughout the weekends, the evenings. And we're there when, you know, people need us.